Today, we're going to be talking about something very important that is happening right now in our planet and that the angels asked me to bring awareness to, something that me, you, all of us need to understand, and that is Gaia Ascension, Divine Feminine, and the things that are happening right now in Brazil. It's a deep talk today, so get ready and let's begin. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back, welcome to another video, welcome to another episode of the podcast A Coffee with the Angels in case you're just listening to me. My name is Maria, for those of you who don't know me and I welcome here with all my heart, with all my love, thank you for joining me today. I am here to actually help you find your inner peace and understand the true meaning of happiness in your life by connecting with the angels and other divine light beings. So if this is something that resonates with you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on my podcast so we can stay tuned and you won't miss any more videos or episodes. So today, as I mentioned, we are going to be talking about the Gaia Ascension, Divine Feminine and the things that are happening in Brazil right now. This is actually a topic that came through just yesterday in one of my works uh, that I do in one of my um, one of my angel coaching sessions, and it was so deep. It was a very long message that the girls received, but the angels actually asked me to come here and talk, of course, in a more shorter way um, about this with you because. This is something that we all really need to be mindful of. This is something that we all really need to be thinking about right now and to have this awareness and to have this understanding about the things that are happening in our planet because this is our reality. This is where we are. We are living here and we all need to, to take responsibility for everything that is happening here because it's not my home. It's not your home. It's our home. You know, planet Earth is our home and we need to understand what's happening, right? When you're home, I love this. The angels are using this metaphor now. This is what they're showing me. You know, when your home is like cracking, there's a crack somewhere, something is falling apart, something is not working, what do you do? You try to fix it, right? You go ahead, you look for resources, you fix that because... Otherwise, maybe soon something worse will happen, right? And this, the, this is the exact same thing that is happening on planet Earth right now. You know, there are so many energies that are cracking this, this home that Gaia is... It, it, Gaia had enough. You know, that's the energy actually I've received yesterday. I was with the angels, but I was also with Gaia, connected with Gaia. And Gaia is right now, you know, she she had enough. That's what I'm hearing now. She had enough, and 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 it's time for her to come through. It's time for her, you know, to really show what she got, you know. Um, because this is something that the angels mentioned yesterday. What we need to understand is that the energy of Gaia on planet Earth is she's the ruler here, you know. She's the mayor here. She's the she owns this. She owns the planet. She's the owner. You know, it's because of Gaia that everything works here. It's because of Gaia that we have the air we breathe. It's because of Gaia that we have the proper balance in the oceans, that things are happening properly with the waters. It's because of Gaia that nature exists. It's because of Gaia that we have our food. It's because of Gaia that we actually are here. That, you know... The planet is, is moving, that we have day and night, that the, the moon is there, that the, the whole system only happens because of Gaia's energy. Because she's allowing that to happen and she's giving it to us. She's allowing this planet to be your home. And what's happening is that we are not really treating it so well, are we? We're not really... We're not really fixing right, the problems. Because in the end of the day, and this is the main thing here, the main thing that the angels want me to tell you, 
This is not about blaming. This is not about blaming those who are doing right or wrong, you know, and, and judging. That's not it. That's not what this energy is looking for. This energy is looking for balance. This energy is looking for connection. You know, this is what the whole thing is teaching us. Everything that is happening in our planet right now is teaching us that we need to be together in this. That this, for example, this horrible virus... It's affecting everyone. There's no difference in countries. There's no difference in races. There's no difference in languages, in men or women. You know, it affects everyone. And this whole thing is a learning process for us. But Gaia is tired of being hurt. This is what I'm hearing. Tired of being hurt. And... The Divine Feminine is completely hurt. And the Divine Feminine is now rising. And you can see it, right? But there's still so much to do. And what we need to understand here, and this is what the angels were telling me, because I don't know if, um, if you guys know, but I'm actually Brazilian, born and raised in Brazil. And I don't live there anymore for many years now, but my entire family is there. And things are really, like, rough in brazil things are very 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 sad the way things are and it's interesting because it's like the angels were saying yesterday you know we um, we are often um like when a, when a plane crashes for example which is something horrible right let's say a plane with about what 300 people crashes Everyone dies. The entire world knows about this. Everyone is worried. Everyone is touched by it. Everyone gets sad somehow. We feel that, right? We feel that tra tra tragedy. But what's happening in Brazil right now, specifically because of the virus, because of course, that's not the only thing that is killing people there and everywhere else. But just the virus in itself, it's like over 10 planes crashing, crashing, 10 planes crashing every day. Every day, 10 planes crashing in that country. People dying like, like it's nothing. And I'm not here to talk about what's right or wrong, politics and all these things. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is right, who is wrong. It doesn't matter... Because this is what the angels want us to understand. It's not about blaming. It's not about finding guilt. Because that's... It's, and it's so interesting. Because, I mean... And this is what they were showing me. Imagine planet Earth as a body. Because it is. Planet Earth is a living being. It is a living being. And imagine a body... The lungs of this body, they are in Brazil because of the rainforest. The whole process of breathing comes from there. Lungs are connected to the heart chakra. So what the angels were telling me is that what's happening there, since, which is, you know, not coincidence, the most, I mean, uh, the, 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 the main place where the virus attacks is the lungs, right? And where, where are the lungs in, in Brazil, in the rainforest, right? In the whole area. And what the angels were showing me is that this is all so connected because the divine feminine is rising, Gaia is rising, and is fighting for it. And... What they were telling me is that this is actually happening now because of this wounded heart that is so deeply rooted in the planet. Because, I mean, Brazil is just where the, the lungs are, but it's the whole system. It's the whole body. It's not just Brazilians. It's, this is a problem of the whole world, of every person of all lifetimes that have ever existed here. 
because they were showing me that the divine feminine has been so neglected and so out of alignment and so hurt throughout history, everywhere in this body. This body has been attacked in so many ways through the divine feminine energy being attacked from everywhere in the entire body. Imagine this. Imagine a body that is being, you know, hurt everywhere. For so long. And if you if you actually understand a little bit of energy, let's talk in a very basic way about, for example, Reiki here. How do we get a, a disease? It's by having this continuous of negative energy generated within us through thoughts, through experiences, through words for so long we keep that negative vibration within us for so long that that vibration the only way for it to keep existing is by consuming our own energy and and then our uh, you know it, it reaches a point where our body can't stand it anymore and then it comes to the physical form so we get a disease we get sick in a very basic way I'm explaining this but that's exactly what's happening there and here you know for us now this body has been in such a very you know it has been has been in such a deep hurt for so long that right now it's affecting the heart and and the angels keep repeating this this is just the beginning of this disalignment to be seen because Guy is gonna send, the divine feminine is gonna send. It is happening. And we need and how I mean this is what the they want you to understand, beautiful soul. How but how are how am I responsible for this? We all are because we are all part. We are all cells of this body. And we need to heal the heart. We need to heal our hearts. Because don't think that that's, again, that's not just Brazil's problem. It's everyone's. Because Brazil is actually the lungs, not Brazil, but the lungs are actually taking all the 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 actions and and the energies that the entire body have created before including me including you including all of us and this is about so many disalignments in the divine feminine through abuse through um you know the the patriarchal is that how you say it oh my god I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, this kind of male empowerment over women for so long, right? Throughout history. Everywhere. Everywhere in this planet. And that's why. Because this is mainly a problem in the heart. So the angels are here to actually ask us to heal our hearts. How? First. First. Feeling the connection with one another. Accepting one another. Because this is what ha what's happening in Brazil, actually. People are getting into a very dark place there. They are fighting with so much disrespect with one another because of the president, of the, of, I don't know, the mayors, of whatever, all the politics, all the politicians, and, you know, in a very, like, ego way, egoistic way, because I am better than you. My president is better than yours. I know better than you. This is all your president's um, fault. It's not one person's fault. It's everyone's fault. Because as the angels even mentioned yesterday, 
An abuser was not born an abuser. A racist was not born a racist. This is all built throughout life. This is all created by society, by me, by you, by us, because we are it. We are the society. So it's not about blaming, but it's about looking within and healing your hearts instead of wasting your energy with discussions and arguments and pointing fingers and saying that you are better than anyone else. I see this so much also in the spiritual community. You know, so much judgment and attack. You should do this, you should do that, you shouldn't think like this, you shouldn't act like that, you shouldn't say this. You know, instead of just understanding that we are one and having compassion and, and understanding towards the other person. We're not here to point fingers, we're here to take responsibility and heal this heart. And heal the heart of the earth that is us. By healing our hearts, we're healing the heart of the planet. You know? And this is what the angels also want me to tell you guys. Don't waste your energy on this kind of low vibrations. You know, on arguments, fighting. Because this is only causing more hurt to Gaia. This is only causing more disease. This is only making the virus stronger. Attacking more the heart. Attacking more the lungs. And in Brazil, this is happening in a very strong way. The separation of the being. You can see there in a very clear way. People are really getting into separations. Into different separated groups. Those who agree with the president. Those who don't agree with the president. Those who think they should wear masks. Those who think they shouldn't wear masks. Those who think that this is just a flu. Or those who think that this is terrible. Like groups and separation. We are all one. It doesn't matter what's going on. People are getting worried about how the country is going to be in one year from now. But. We need to understand, and this is also, this. that's why I'm here to tell you this in English as well, because this also applies to you, to your country, country, to the place where you are. We're not here to worry about a year from now. We're here to worry about today. This is our reality. This is where we are now. We're going through this. Everyone is going through this. It's not easy for everyone. And this whole separation is, is hurting so much the heart of the planet the separation between male and female this you know this very strong energy that make people think that they are better than one another and that the energy this energy of trying to make you impose something trying to you know the the energy where you have where you are actually Telling people off where you're actually making people do things. Getting into arguments. This is a very strong ego and divine masculine energy that is completely out of alignment. Even if a, a woman is doing this. Even if a woman is in the in this argument and in this, you know, in this ego and, and I am better and, and this is better and you are wrong and I am better and I am right. This is hurting the divine feminine. Because the divine feminine is about allowing yourself to, to feel the emotions. Allowing yourself to feel. To be intuitive. And that is trying so hard to be. Um, to be deleted. This is what the angels are saying. So... Again, this is all about healing the heart. Letting go of the need to be right. Letting go of the need to be better. But embracing and, 
and 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 really looking at one another with love and really like rolling this is what they're showing me rolling up your sleeves and taking action because yes oh it's brazil brazil is really bad but again it's the whole system it's the whole body we are all connected and this is not one country's uh, mistakes or one country's problem only this is about all of us getting together, rolling up our sleeves and doing something. How do we do it? By taking care of one another instead of fighting. You know, by helping someone who is in a, in a more difficult position than you are now. Your neighbor who has eight kids and just lost his job, helping him somehow. Helping your security in your building by giving him proper masks or something i don't know you have to look at your reality and see what you can do instead of blaming politicians and this and that this is the chinese this is the us this is this and that and that. don't get into that energy because that is where the hurt is that is where the disease is coming from so we need to be loved we need to heal this heart in order for this to get in balance again because again Gaia is ascending. That means that planet Earth is going through a process of ascension. And this is what the angel said. Those who are looking into separation, you will be separated. Those who are looking into connection and togetherness and compassion, you will be connected. You will be together. So think about this and think about how can you do it? How can you change this energy and stop fighting stop generating more fear and more anger and more worry live in the now and look at your reality and understand what's happening now and how you can help because helping one another makes the heart stronger and again the heart is there and as the angel said this the lungs diseases it's just the beginning if we don't allow Gaia to ascend. If we don't allow our hearts to heal. We need to do that for us, for life on earth. If you look at, at nature, if you look at the animals, they are living in such a beautiful and perfect harmony together. Male and female, they don't fight. They don't hate each other. They are together. They, they do things together with respect because they need one another. And in our planet, this is so out of alignment. So this is something for you to think about as well, beautiful soul. What are the stories you're telling your children when it comes to acceptance of other people's choices? And... How are you acting? How are you reacting with your words, with your energy? When it comes to this connection, are you creating connection or are you creating separation? Are you pushing people away or are you actually embracing them? How fair are you? This is what the angels are saying. How fair are you being now with others? With women? The planet is rising. The heart needs to be healed. And Gaia is going to heal her. She is going to heal herself. She's doing it. And she's going to do whatever is needed for this planet to be in in balance we need to work with her what are you doing as well this is what she's asking as well what are you doing to Gaia to the planet to nature how are you supporting this healing how are you supporting the journey how are you supporting the planet your home when it comes to 
when it comes to you know consumption when it comes to water when it comes to food when it comes to everything you're taking away this is what she's saying everything you're taking away from Gaia what are you what are you placing out there what are you giving her pollution destroying Gaia nature destroying the animals killing animals for fun eating animals for five minutes of pleasure and I'm not saying who's right or wrong I'm not here to tell you you should be vegetarian or not vegan whatever it's your choice again compassion understanding and acceptance but just think about this how are you how are you collaborating how are you helping right now are you helping the planet to be out of alignment nature to be destroyed or are you helping the planets to be in alignment in harmony or are you helping nature to rebuild itself are you helping the divine feminine the divine masculine as well because both need to be heard they need to work together how are you doing that do you still think that you're better than women if you're a man <laughs> do you still think that you have the 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 right to destroy nature the right to kill the animals the right to do things the right to hurt people look at you and heal your heart because by healing your heart we heal the heart of the planet we heal Gaia we heal the lungs we rise we ascend together the whole learning the whole lesson in all of this is that we need to understand that we are one thing only this is everyone's problem this is everyone's energy this is everyone's quote fault we need to accept one another by our choices by our religions by our colors <laughs> by our um by our nationalities we need to accept one another by our sexual preference we need to accept one another by our um financial um financial level we need to accept one another because we are human beings we are only one thing we are all one we are all the same thing there is no difference we all have the same organs it's just the skin and we need to understand this we are so connected every action always has a reaction and now Gaia is gonna rise she's awakening she's bringing everything to the surface everything we have been doing to her everything we have been doing to one another is coming back to us and the only tool we have to quote fight this is healing the heart So this is how you can help, by helping people around you, by really being hands-on in this and doing something to help those who need. Oh, because how can something that I am doing right now in India is going to help Brazil? Oh, it does. It does because we are one. It's a wave. We are all connected. That's why the virus is everywhere. So this is what I have for you today, beautiful soul. Have this understanding. Heal the heart. Accept. Love. Have compassion. Forgive. Fight for balance and not for separation. Fight for connecting. For, for connectedness. For togetherness. 
instead of who's right or wrong. Okay? <laughs> so, I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this. I might create some kind of prayer or something to help this as well, but I'll bring it to you guys. You will know. <laughs> You'll be notified. Make sure you join the Beautiful Souls tribe because I'm there constantly with you guys in a very close, very connected way. So it's free. Just make sure you join. The link is in the description here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Maria Molina Angels for more content. And if you want to receive healing every week, this is the only way you can receive healing from me now. It's by going to my Patreon um, and I'm always doing this with so much love. <laughs> Everything will be linked down below, okay? So make sure you share this as well. If this is resonating, maybe someone else needs to hear this as well. And thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me today. May the angels bless our beautiful planet. May Gaia bless us with her love. Continue to bless her with her love. May the angels bless Brazil and everyone living there. And may our hearts be touched by the divine light so we can finally choose to be love instead of hatred. Have a wonderful day, beautiful soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And Namaste.